You are listening to the Word of Truth radio program. We're broadcasting from deep behind enemy lines. On our insider hotline is Jordan Lawrence from the Alliance Defense Fund. And uh, he's going to be back in his old stomping grounds here in Minnesota. Uh, he's going to be uh, speaking, a featured speaker, at Upholding, Upholding God's Design for Marriage, uh, May 9th. You can go to mfc.org for more information. You can go to his website, alliancedefensefund.org. Lots of great resources on there. Strongly uh, recommend our listeners to go to that website and check it out, alliancedefensefund.org. Jordan, let me ask you about freedom and, and, uh, and liberty in all of this. Many pastors that I talk to really seemingly don't understand uh, that we are fighting for our, our, our freedom of speech here. That's, you talked about you know, fighting for families, and that certainly is a big part of this. But I think another big part is fighting for our freedom of speech as pastors. Pastors are losing our ability and our freedom to speak out uh, for and against things uh, on this issue of homosexuality and gay marriage. Are they not? Well, I think that's right, and I can give you a couple of examples, but let me just start with this if there's any pastors listening. If you think that this is sort of a remote issue from you and doesn't really concern you and all that sort of stuff, just think if your church schedules a married couple's retreat and some same-sex couple that went down I-35 and got married in Iowa comes and demands to come to your conference Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and threatens to sue you if you do not allow them in. And then all of a sudden, the importance of this issue becomes very, very significant. And and I would just say, I've got the situation with the photographer in uh, uh, in New Mexico. Right. We've had situations of college students that are in graduate programs for counseling, basically being thrown out, one in Michigan, one in Georgia, mm-hmm. out of their graduate schools, because they will not affirm that there's nothing wrong with engaging in homosexual behavior. Uh, uh, we've had a church, uh, a camp, uh, a pavilion in uh, New Jersey that uh, declined to allow a same-sex couple to have a civil union ceremony there, and they got sued, lost one of their property tax exemptions, and are now going through a discrimination lawsuit. So what we are hoping to do at this conference, and I urge you, if you can't come, to think about this as pastors, is to start speaking out on this issue from the pulpit and urge a yes vote for the amendment uh, this November. And to realize this is not condemning anyone. Mm -hmm. This is not Mm -hmm. cutting off rights for anybody. The only rights are going to be lost if this amendment fails and they legalize same-sex marriage will be the churches and others who believe in a traditional definition of marriage. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the things that pastors really don't understand, and and I understand this because I do a lot of research for the show, and I've also spoken in in Canada, and I'm sure you're very familiar, uh, Jordan, in Canada. I literally, where I spoke, the pastor asked me in that pastor's conference to speak against same-sex marriage and talk about that issue. Uh, But he said, you know, you've got to understand that we're going to we're not going to be able to put the recording of your message on our website with the rest of the with the rest of the speakers uh, because of that topic. Now, I spoke on other things when I was there and they were able to post those messages. But when it came to that message about homosexuality and gay marriage, uh, he was unable to put that up on his website. That's a loss of liberty from the church's perspective. Right. I mean, and I think that that's right. It, and, and it's just going to be increasing if people don't step up uh, for it. Canada does have, and they're more advanced because they have nationwide, uh, nationally, uh, they have same-sex marriage. And the amount of uh, uh, discrimination law prosecutions for people merely saying, uh, I believe marriage is a man and a woman, Mm -hmm. has been phenomenal. In fact, uh, to confirm that, I I can remember hearing Dr. Dobson talk about focus on the family, that they had to censor either censor their uh, – they did have to censor their, their uh, shows to talk about this issue when they broadcast in Canada yes. Yes. and that they would, you know, then have to broadcast from the northern border of, you know, Washington State or New York or Minnesota into Canada like some sort of weird radio-free Europe thing into, <laughs> you know, the dark lands of the north. Yes. And that's the kind of suppression – that we see, we don't see a commitment to diversity and tolerance. 
what we see is a kind of a left-wing authoritarianism that is intent on censoring people that don't agree with them. And I think that anybody who resents that or who, who I, when I do debates, say, I start going through the cases I am actually litigating. I mean, I stood in the courtroom in Albuquerque with Elaine Photography and, uh, and said, why is this family business mm-hmm. being prosecuted mm-hmm. when there's easily another photographer that can be gotten? And, and, uh, it, it, and I, I just feel there's no respect for the freedom of speech, free exercise of religion, right of association, et cetera. And just this sort of everybody's got to think the same way or keep your mouth shut on this issue. Uh, as we've already mentioned, uh, Jordan's going to be uh, speaking at the Upholding God's Design for Marriage conference coming up May 9th. And, uh, Jordan, what are you going to be talking about there as pastors come to hear you speak? I'm basically going to be talking about their legal right to speak so they don't have to fear being sued or losing their tax exemption if they speak about this issue from the pulpit. But then also some of the commonly stated reasons that you hear uh, why people, uh, you know, argue against this and say this shouldn't be passed, and, and to talk about some of the real problems that we're seeing in other places and how this affects societies when nations begin to start changing their definition of marriage. Well, that's uh, fantastic, and I can't wait to get you up here and can't wait to hear you speak. Thanks, Jordan, for coming on the program. And, again, thanks for everything that you're doing. I know you're, you're a warrior for, for liberty here in the States. Yeah, I'm hoping the University of Minnesota doesn't, you know, regret the day they let me uh, <laughs> come and graduate from there from they're, law school. They're <laughs> going to rescind your diploma. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jordan, for coming on the program, and uh, we'll Thank see you, you in just a couple of weeks. Jordan Lawrence from the Alliance Defense Fund. Uh, go to alliancedefensefund.org for more information. Great organization, by the way, standing for liberty here in the United States. And uh, you can hear Jordan speak uh, by going to the Upholding God's Design for Marriage Conference, May 9th. We're encouraging all pastors to get out for that, by the way. You can go to mfc.org. We'll be back in a few moments. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about, well, we'll talk about uh, the Christian bullies that don't exist. Stay tuned. You're listening to The Word of Truth with Pastor Brad Brandon 